Hi guys, this is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. Got another video here for you today on uh, troubleshooting in an Explorer. Now, I know a lot of people do use Firefox, but some people still use in an Explorer, and th these tips here will give you a, a little helping hand on fixing some of the problems that you may have with Internet Ex Internet Explorer. Um, first thing I would suggest is just make sure that your internet is working um, and it's you know giving you a service to the actual internet to your PC and also to make sure that you haven't got any browser hijacks or spyware on the machine that's stopping the browser from functioning properly okay they're the two things that I that you've got to check first other than that this is to fix issues with Internet Explorer and to get bypass any problems and fix any reinstall and stuff like that okay so first thing you should do is download Firefox and see if you can get internet access with Firefox now if you can then obviously uh, internet's fine and everything else but there's a problem with Internet, internet Explorer so let's open Internet Explorer up so the first thing you should be doing is going to help and about Internet Explorer and checking the version you see version 6 here I would just update this to version 8 or something like that just to see whether that fixes the problem obviously this is very old because it's on a virtual machine but as I said you know that's the first thing I would do after uh, installing Firefox so the next thing I, what you should be doing is coming into tools and in options like so now if you can't get tools and internet options that way you can go start control panel and get it here it's the same thing but that's just in case you used to do it that way now first thing to do here is delete the files and delete offline content delete the cookies and also uh, clear history yeah go into settings and then make sure you go into view objects and delete the objects that you may have here. Now these may be attachments that for browsers like family uh, ancestry have put stuff in here and all sorts. Delete those just to make sure they're not corrupted and causing the browser any problems. And you can always put them back on later on. Okay. Okay. From there, we're going to go to the advanced tab at the top. Click on restore defaults. This just make sure nothing's gone astray in here and you've got it a bit wrong and it's stopping it working. Okay click on the programs tab come into manage add-ons now this may be in a part, different part of Windows Explorer but it will be in this tab here and it will be here it may not be here it may be up here or something but just click on it yeah you'll have a list of stuff in here that's it added on to Internet Explorer any search bars or anything like that shopping bar, tool bars or anything like that uninstall them get rid of them so or disable them for the time being so basically click on it and you should see any enable and disable obviously it says disable but that's the process so just disable it you won't see nothing on it because it's a virtual machine as I said okay and then click OK and come out of there so any Yahoo toolbar get rid of them for the time being next hit this button here reset windows uh, reset web settings click on that put the tick in say yes job done move over to the uh, privacy tab make sure that you haven't got this set too high like so if this is right the way up sometimes that bombs out your internet okay make sure that's not right up the top there okay pull it down click apply okay see if that fix it if it does then just bump it up until your internet stops working again right next thing pop-ups pop-up blockers take the tick out apply ok see if that fixes it if it does maybe this setting in here is too high it shouldn't be but just check just to make sure also you may have a secondary pop-up blocker installed on your PC it may be part of your antivirus package or just a standalone pop-up blocker or you may have something of that nature blocking it so you need to make sure the settings on that are correct check those the next thing you need to check is your firewall make sure that you, like zone alarm you've not said something in a region of uh, no to internet explorer and it's now blocking it from going out to the internet okay remove that icon and let it give you the option to say yes or no again just in case check your firewall also 
check software and check your virus scanner for any browser problems that any browser software that's installed on them it may be something like a uh, you know protecting any files that are scripts and stuff just make sure it's not just take stuff out just temporarily to see if that fixes it okay they're the things to check next is your software secondary software okay I wouldn't worry about that because we've just uh, re reinstalled all that by pushing reset the next thing uh, you want to do is close that off go start control panel and then remove programs look for the Internet Explorer down here if it's there click on it click remove it won't remove it, it won't install it, it will give you a nag box that pops up and says do you want to uninstall or do you want to repair you want to repair put the tick in the repair carry on the process uh, carry on the with the uh, task that you doing and it will actually repair that repair Internet Explorer if it's not there you can actually come in here Windows components take the tick out go next follow it through it'll ask you to reboot reboot the machine come back put the tick back in go next and then it may it'll install now it may ask for the Windows CD if it does make sure you got your Windows CD to hand before you start doing all that okay that will do that okay the next thing you want to be checking is coming into start uh, run and put CMD CMD and this will bring up the command prompt box okay in here you want to type SFC space forward slash uh, scan now that's S C A N N O W and then push enter make sure you have your Windows CD available to you and you will get this box pop up and then it will ask for your CD as well and this will obviously take the files off the CD so what you need to do here obviously um, is put the CD in the drawer and then and it will uh, and then push retry and then obviously it will let you do that let you finish it off okay we're not going to run that through because we haven't got the time the next thing you want to do is use this command here this will reinstall and repair um, the actual uh, the actual uh, Internet Explorer so I'm thinking now once we get into this stage we're getting to the last knockings and it should actually start to fix your problems so go into run go like that paste and there you can see the I Internet Explorer INF file click OK it will ask for the Windows CD again make sure you got your Windows CD to hand put it in the drawer in the CD drawer there browse to it click OK and then that should fix and install the actual uh, Internet Explorer the next thing you want to do uh, after you've done that is there's this little that does I don't I think this really doesn't really matter because obviously if you've reinstalled it it should fix it all but this actually um, fixes all the shell files browser dot uh, the DLL files and all the stuff like that so basically once you and the you know, Outlook Express is all part of that so if I clicked on that now you'd obviously see it run right away through okay so next thing really is test your internet if it's not working now then obviously it's something more uh, sinister and we obviously you would obviously need to look into it a little bit more than that these are some of the basic ways of doing it now there is a program that you can look at as well which is this on the internet I've never used it but you may want to look at it it's called repair IE and you can actually you see the address there uh, repair IE .com, and you can go through here and use these functions to fix some of the problems I don't know how good it is or, or not but you know have a look at it first this is on a virtual machine so it don't matter I don't know whether it's got any spyware in it but you need to check okay so I'm not saying this is great but it's just an option if it's still not working after all the things you've tried okay you've been listening to Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's helped you out please leave your comments I shall be making some more tutorials in the future maybe about Firefox and whatnot if you want any videos made just leave some comments there to ask for some thanks very much bye for now